Jake, stay on that hero. Oh, turn it up. Yes! Jake, fan favorite. Give us out. that Orissa camera. On I want to see some people look for Mondetta's gold. Well, already just going into the shield battle here, and she can be very good in the shield battle. Pulse Cannon goes up. They will launch in a couple shields. Are going up front to supplement. They are diving Jake in the back line here. Still, though, look at all this damage. Well, he is laying in the damage of AZK. Going to be forcing him back. His shield still up. He's going to be able to put a new one up soon. Two unanswered kills here by LG Evil. And Arissa right now, you see Jake in the back, laying in the damage of anyone who's in there. Not really under a whole lot of pressure. Yoink. He's looking for far. the knockoffs. But hey, it works out. Arissa, the first successful use of Arissa here in competition as LG Evil able to grab that first point. Well, this is fun to watch. Jake just widening his hero pool evermore. Already has one of the deepest hero pools in all of Overwatch, adding Arissa into that here. Mini grab up. I got everything up. It really does help with the shield battle. I mean, obviously, adding another tank with a shield on it is going to make sure that your Reinhardt stays very, very healthy. Team Liquid now running dive composition. We'll try to dive right in. Mezzer gets the boost. Mezzer going deep in on that nano boost scientist. Gets up towards the very end, but it still leads to two kills over Team Liquid. Jake flanked on all sides. Down goes the body's protector in Orissa. And Team Liquid making this a very decisive fight. Four unanswered kills here. And but it's going to be really interesting to see where this ult goes. I mean, anything we see with Arissa right now well, is just all The thing new. about the ultimate is that it is very vulnerable to damage. It can be taken down very quickly, but while it's up, it's a gigantic damage boost to everyone in range. Think of it as one Mercy putting damage boost on six people at once. It is huge. But LG Evil right now trying to move around. No, they're going to get angry. Winston in their face. They drop the damage boost ultimate. We'll see where this goes. AZK at the Pulse Bomb takes down that boost ultimate immediately. Five versus five here on the point, and LG Evil's bringing this back around. Yeah, it was enough to do all the damage in there. They still will get a barrage over top. Rafa does take down Super, trying to bring this back, but it does not seem like they have enough, and with Shatter going down, it'll very likely be Evil taking the point back, and it will. Damage contribution from Orissa here, actually fairly significant, and what you're seeing here is that as the fight breaks down into less and less numbers, it feels like it's much easier for Orissa to survive and just really bully the remaining members still up and around, and here we still haven't even seen people thrown into a pit, which is very much a possibility. Absolutely. Ten, every eight seconds, you will have a mini Graviton to yank people off the cliff. Of course, not the same effect. An interesting shield there as they do sense the rotation coming around. And now Super's going to come in. They will boost Mez yet again. Why not? He's been one of the best players for Liquid today. Fortify out here from Jake under pressure. Going to have to back out. Gets the health back just in time, but no. Not able to speed out. Go I'm ahead. touching Hector's hand now. We have hide on the Orisa. <laughs> <laughs> I need the moral support here as Immortals looking to end this with a little bit of style. Oh, it's happening again. Fortify out here for Hype. Going to drop that Orisa barrier. Now using her damage to crack through that shield and just be a big distraction here. Hasn't done too much with it here yet, but we'll see how it handles. And while they're worrying about Hype, Gildies goes in from the back, grabs Shake. So, for Immortals, it's a slower push here, but this consistent Arisa presence works out as Hype picks up the double. You know why it makes a lot of sense, too, is the other hero we used to see on this stage, and only this stage, was Mei. And it's because her wall can do a complete side of the point. And you see that with the shield barrier, too. When these fights are going to happen on the point, you really only need the shield on one side, and you get so much coverage from it. So He's sort of freelancing, making it work, and there we go. Mini Graviton charge coming out. That's Hype. Able to really sustain through that damage. When Fortify is up, you're not doing a whole lot to an Orisa. And while they're focusing on that, Agilities picks up two in the back line. It's working. Looking at being one of the last fights, at the very least, the penultimate for complexity. If they cannot find an answer for this, Hype does not die so far. Ultimate not quite there yet, though, so we might not see the Orisa ultimate here. They've just been dominating this high ground, looking for an entrance. They will dive onto Hyped. They go and dive on him, but I'm not sure if Winston dive on the Rissa is actually the play. There's a lot of things Rissa do can stay alive in that and just counter fire. So Hyped a little bit under pressure, does have the Discord orb on him. Gonna back out a bit, drop the shield, and while they're focusing on that, we'll see what the backline does, but this time it's much better for Complex. They have two kills early on, Reach pulls out the Dragon Blade, looking for anything here. Doesn't get too much off the Dragon Blade, but it's enough of a distraction that the rest of Kabuxi just rolls in from the front. And Hype used the ult in there, and it got blown up right away. We don't get to see the Orisa ult in full action.